agent. From this point on, you are Aspar 1 VR operative. You patched up. I promise. Not to jinx it, but I think we're actually making progress here. Oh, damn it! I don't know if I can do this, Jack. Your systems are failing. I barely managed to keep your core memory alive. <coughs> are you injured? What the hell is this? Jack. Please. Good morning, sunshine. Jack! Oh, thank God. Captain Rhodes, report to observation. Don't say a word. They can't know you're online. I promise I'll explain everything when I get back. I'm going to need your help. With Medal of Honor above and beyond, I think we're finally able to, to fully realize that vision from 20 years ago of putting you in the boots, allow you to see through the eyes of someone who was actually there. And that's been the most exciting and fulfilling part of, of the project. There's no moment in this game where like you're just relaxed, right? You're in a war zone. You are a member of the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services. That allows us to tell a story where the player gets to go to all these incredible places. VR adds such another level to it just because people want to naturally interact with things how they do in the real world. Whether you're inside a Sherman tank or at an airfield or sneaking into a, a Nazi sub-base, the level of immersion is unprecedented. Through the power of VR, you're climbing a wall, you're pulling out your gun, you're catching a grenade in midair and throwing it back. Those are all things that you end up doing yourself. It's exciting and it's terrifying and it's fun and it's cool kind of helping create these experiences for people. We are making a game about the reality of World War II. So for us, you know, the authenticity was everything. When you put that headset on, you feel like you're back in World War II era Europe. It's a very surreal experience to be there without being there. You're not watching history on a flat screen. You're experiencing history with your own eyes. We have the opportunity to sit down and interview combat veterans from World War II. 
It's very emotional and it's very inspiring. And that's what draws us to dive deep for our characters. And putting you as the player on an adventure that spans some of the biggest moments of the war. The Medal of Honor franchise immediately gives us something more intimate, more cinematic. Games are at their best when they're immersive and we're finding all sorts of little things you can't do in traditional games. Having the backing of Respawn and Oculus gives us the ability to push those boundaries in ways that it hasn't been pushed before. When you see someone play it, when they just kind of lose themselves into the game, it's been pretty impressive. If the game we're making ignites people's imaginations and illuminates the world, then we've accomplished what we set out to do.
This ground firmament hangs by a thread. You. And you have no capacity for understanding. The magnitude, the labor of generations that have come before you, and what shortly lies ahead. I could have mentored you, passed on the knowledge that was passed to me. After the Cold War ended, we thought things could only get better. Then hell froze over. They're calling this the New Ice Age. Been 20 years. The 80s seemed to lurch from high to high. We injected every designer drug known to man. On a trip to be the best possible you. Playing tag with the hand of God. We scavenge what was once our home to get by. Take our chances with what was once human. All for the sake of our survival. The world was ours once. I say we get it back. Morning, sir. Our travel time to Shanghai is 11 hours, 15 minutes. Told you we should have taken the faster flight. I think the board prefers you wear a more conventional suit to these company meetings. You can't outrun your past. Friday, tell me I didn't just imagine that. Negative, sir. Sir, incoming! A little late, don't you think? Friday, suit up, now! All systems online. Time for the hero thing. Sir, hostiles inbound, 10 o'clock. So much for a hero's welcome. On your right. Any idea who we're up against? 
You've made your share of enemies, sir. I'll need more time. How about you? That's how it's done. Threat neutralized. Good. I have a plane to catch.
Oh, what up, son? Product not yet rated. Sniper Elite VR is kind of a natural next evolution for Sniper Elite. We've moved the gameplay to full first person, seemed like the natural fit for such an immersive experience. You have full movement control over the player, you can go everywhere, you can explore, much in the same way that you can through other games in the Sniper Elite franchise. It was very important to us not to make this an on-rails experience. It's a completely free-roaming, open sniper game. The story for the game has been written by Tony Schumacher, who's the author of the dramatic World War II John Rossett novels. It's set in Italy in World War II, the same region of the world as Sniper Elite 4, but it's a brand new story with brand new levels. We have some really fantastic levels to experience, from picturesque villages to airfields and airstrips, underground bunkers and things like that. So some really fantastic places for you to play. One of the key things in Sniper Elite is the authenticity of the weapons. There are loads of the classic World War II weaponry that you'd expect to see in Sniper Elite coming back for the game. There's submachine guns and pistols and sneaky stuff like the well rod and that kind of thing. And of course there's the fantastic long range shooting with the sniper rifle. We fully support the PlayStation Aim controller and the Move controllers as well, and obviously the DualShock, and each of them brings a different kind of uh, experience to the game. With the Move controllers, you get to use both your hands independently. With the Aim controller, you get a really cool feel of actually holding a rifle. For the first time, you can kind of lean over edges, lean around corners. When you bring that scope up to your eye with the VR controllers and the scope really comes up to your eyes, it's really amazing. It blows you away. You really get this sense of, of holding the gun and the sense of weight and power that comes with that is really impressive in VR. One of the key elements of Sniper Elite is our slow motion bullet cam, where you can track a bullet through the air to its target. We've completely rebuilt the bullet cam from the ground up, designed to work comfortably with the VR experience. That's something I'm very proud of that we've managed to pull off because that was something that we saw as being a difficulty in the development and it's paying off brilliantly. It's a whole new level of intensity that you won't have experienced before. I'm here. So what's the plan? If we can get this weapon, what we're doing here could change things forever. There's no straight shot to the vault. I'm gonna head inside, find a way out. Got it. I'm with you every step of the way. You're gonna need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. It's unloaded now. Combine channels really picking up. They know you're coming. You need to get out of here now. Oh god. They've got dad. They're gonna find out what he knows, and then they're gonna kill him. All oh, this is my fault. I never told you. I couldn't, I'm so sorry, baby. You will not save him. Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. Close your eyes, honey! 